like nagging at this point. So as a man, when we approaching y'all, like what should we be paying attention to? And what should we just, all right, she just in her feelings. This is just nagging. This is whatever, whatever. Like how do we distinguish that from a man? Because a lot of men struggle with that. And sometimes we'll miss something that's super important because we'll write it off as nagging. So so how, how are we supposed to distinguish that in, in your opinion? I think that that's the part about the the constant communication. If it's if it is definitely pe- uh, petty, or I should say nagging, is what I think is petty. Um, I think it might be okay because you might get to a point where you can explain to me, or I may grow up, become a little bit more mature, and be like, you know what, this is your space too. Maybe I'm being a little over the top. Maybe I'm a little OCD. See, I had to come to that myself. That I'm a little straight edge. You know, everything has its place. Where my husband's not like that. So maybe I need to relax a little. So the question is, you just kind of, you know, babe, what's wrong? This is just towels. Sometimes some people, sometimes you need to say that to your mate. It's just this. It's really not that serious. Because I know as women, we do want the model home. Well, a lot of us want the model home. And I know sometimes men don't live that way. So sometimes with my husband way back in the beginning, he just had to bring to my attention, babe, we live here. You know, model homes, you just go in, you see, and you walk through and you leave out. We live here. So, you know, relax. You know how sometimes women and sometimes men, too, they they decorate like the guest bathroom, the one that no one never uses with these pretty towels and they decorate them a certain way or whatever. I know and you. and listen, I'm a <laughs> you know, I'm nobody, sorry. nobody uses that bathroom. And, you know, it's just, it's just perfect. And it's in our house, you know. So, you know, your husband go in there, he don't give her a darn about them towels, the toilet, none of it. He's just like, this is my house. So my question is, my question is, when is it just okay to say, you know what? I don't even need to talk about these particular towels. Just let me fix it and just go on Um, instead of saying to this man, look, I'm going to need you to pay attention to what I got. Because I earlier, Trill, you mentioned um, I, I'm going to have some walking papers because if you love me, you should understand by now I want it this way. So my question is, when do we just say, look, this ain't worth it. This is not this is it. This is not it right here. I'm just going to pick up these shoes or get some more towels and just refold them or whatever. So when do we get to that point? Because the reality of it is I'm taking away his space when it's got to be what I want. Well, I just wonder because like I got over it because I've been married a long time, but I wondered like we we put a lot of that could really Trill made it real to me. He was like, I'm leaving. I'm thinking, dang, that's that could really be a big deal, you know, but it's like that's so petty. When do you get over yourself or when do you compromise and be like, this is our house? Really? Towels? But see, it, but see, it goes back to, to what we was talking about on the pod recently. What we was talking about, you know, because O was like that. He was like, you know what, man, I something small i don't want to bring this Mm -hmm. up like it's it's like whatever and then i was like well you know again a a drop of water is harmless yeah but a lake could kill you Mm -hmm. and and that's the honest to god's truth so that like most arguments or most like breakups and things of that nature the last reason that sparked things the spark the argument that was not the reason right it's because it's a bunch of just built up stuff over and over so it using that bathroom example right so Mm -hmm. it's like man okay I keep communicating this and they just keep disregarding it, keep disregarding it, keep disregarding it. So you know what? I'm going to do it for them. Right. And say, so, you know what? All right, whatever. And then it goes to the car situation. Mm. Right. So I say, baby, mm-hmm. you know, can you please get these shoes out the back of this? Like, come on, man. Like this, come on. We got this little car cleaner to clean it. It is now. Come on now. And then they keep hope going, keep going, keep going. And then you say, you know what? I'm going to do it for them. I'm going to get the shoes out. I'm a, you know, moving. Then, then it goes to the bathroom situation. It's like, you know what, man? Can you please get this hair off this counter? Damn, I know you just got done doing your hair. Can you please? And then you end up doing that too. And then you look up. Yep. And you like, well, damn, I'm doing everything around here, and you can't make one concession. Yeah. Like one that I, that I'm asking. Like every time I ask you to do something, you got to argue. It got to be a, it got to be a fist fight in the street. Like every time. At that point, it's like, you know what? This ain't going to work because this all it's going to do is just trickle and trickle and trickle. Sure, I could do it. But every time that I got to go back on what it is that I'm asking you to do and do it myself, a bit of resentment builds up every time. Even if I'm not saying it, even if I'm not communicating, because men do a lot for our women that our women never see. 